Hi everyone, it is Abigail of the Black Book Space. Let's talk some more about some wonderful books that you can get for that black author lover in your life. We're still in the romance genre. We are. We probably will be, you know, for a long time. And that's okay, right? Because we all need more love in our lives. Love is beautiful. Bring in all the boundless love. Come back and join me in a moment. Let me tell you about three more books that I recommend for you to get for your friends out there. First up, we have this book. It's called An Acquired Taste. Isn't it pretty? So we say you can't judge a book by its cover, but I feel like when the cover is purple, you can. You know that it's going to be a good book. You know what I'm saying? So this book is by Kelly Kane and maybe an author you have not heard of. This is the only book I've ever read by her. Let me check. I don't know that she's written other books, but it usually lists it in the front. I think she has because it's so at Acquired Taste, it says here an Everhart Brothers of Texas romance. So that means she has a series about these brothers. So these Everhart Brothers are some chefs, okay? And their dad, he's very controlling. He doesn't want you out here doing your own thing, starting your own restaurant. But the brothers decided to go on this show, this cooking show, and win some money to start a new restaurant. And their dad was not happy about it. And Rowan Townsend knows Knox Everhart. They went to school together. Um, and he really liked her, of course. And she was, like, not feeling him at all. She thought he was spoiled and stuck up. And he, you know, he probably kind of was. But I guess he had a nice side, too. So I want to read you the blurb on the back. May the best chef, chef win. After four years at the country's top culinary school and several years as head chef in her mother's restaurant, Rowan Townsend has a notable reputation. Her farm to table collard greens have long been bringing people, bringing everyone to the yard, but limits on the restaurant size have led to long waits. Looking to expand the restaurant, she enters a televised chef competition to a reality show. We love those. <laughs> The problem, her infuriatingly talented nemesis from culinary school also enters. To the culinary world, Knox Everhart is a restaurant royalty. As much as Rowan wants to deny it, he's a gifted chef and Rowan knows her arrogant arch nemesis is confident he'll win. He's certainly given her a run for her money more times than she'd like to admit, but this time she's ready to show him who's boss. The rivalry, rivalry soon sparks fireworks in the kitchen and as the competition heats up, so does Rowan's attraction to Knox. And somewhere between pasta and gumbo, they both need to decide what's worth fighting for. So the thing is, right, in a lot of these books, and this is my favorite part, right, a lot of the time the woman who's really successful like sees this guy and she's like he is my nemesis i cannot stand him that man he's always talking he's such a know-it-all his pants are too tight i don't know what, you know like all this stuff and the man is just like oh i love her she's just so dreamy she's my dream woman i wish i could make pasta for her below and then woman doesn't even know like it's always very very funny to me that that happens. That's similar to what happened in the hookup plan, right? Because Dr. London Kelly really did not like Drew. She was like, I cannot stand him. He's always over here, you know, spouting off the quadratic formula. He thinks he's smarter than me and he don't know nothing. I'm out here. I am the number one student so he can kick rocks and get out of here. And he's just like, oh, I wish she'd notice me. I wish we could be lab partners. It's very funny. And that is the kind of dynamic that these two have in here too. The woman's completely unaware and Knox is just like, oh, we could make gumbo together. It's very cute. I really like this book. If you have a person in your life who loves romance novels and food, this would be a really good option for them. Um, and Kelly Kane, very talented author that we don't hear about a lot. So grab her book and give it to a friend. This book should come as no surprise. I love Talia Hibbert and she wrote these books about these amazing sisters, the Browns. Take a hint, Danny Brown. This is my favorite of the book the books because I think that Danny is the middle sister. She's definitely the fun funniest of all of them. So she's a PhD student and one day she and Safir like are in this crazy scandal because the building was being evacuated. The building that they work on, work at was being evacuated and he runs in and grabs her and like carries her out and then people like ship them as the young people say. Um, <laughs> 
and they end up being like this fake couple couple for a little while and then of course it becomes real so it was it was a really cute story and so funny because talia hibbert is an author who's just really funny so she's actually from what i remember yes good yes she's a black british author and you know brits like they have this dry humor i'm a fan of it so that's in this story it's very very funny um i like this one get a life chloe brown is very funny and then grow up eve brown that one's probably the funniest of them all it is so hilarious you really need to get a copy of all three but if you have to get one you know i suppose i would recommend this one because it gets your toe wet and it's I don't know I like the story in this one I think it's really cute I think it has a lot of really deep elements to it um things like grief um that they explore in this book so because of that this is the one I'd recommend that you grab first they don't seem to go in any particular order from what I remember so grab this one and let's talk about the last book talked about this one before blackgentleman.com i had actually never heard of this book before i love zane i've read the majority of her books and she has some stories where she well some novels rather where she kind of writes with other people and that's what this one is it's a compilation of four different stories by four different women celebrating black men blackgentleman.com as far as i know is a fictional website it's a dating website where you can get on there and find nice black gentlemen that will take you out and you know it's a dating website not an escort site okay i think i thought it was an escort site at first because it's just black gentlemen.com not black people.com where like everybody would get on but you get on <laughs> and you look for black gentlemen that are your type um and so each of the women in this book this group of stories got on blackgentleman.com at one time or another to find somebody to have a long-term relationship with each of the stories have their own funny element to it i love some humor in a book highly recommend this book and if you want to hear more about it check out one of my videos i will link it below so you can see what i had to say about this book but that's all i have for you today i hope that those books gave you some ideas for gifts to give that book lover in your life. We have to celebrate black authors out here. They're amazing. They just have a beautiful way with words. They celebrate us, so we have to celebrate them. So I will see you later. Do something that brings you joy today. Bye.